the most common type of antique folding table that you'll find is what's known in the trade as the coaching table. These are two examples. And a coaching table basically has a top which is made up of two boards. It sits on an X-frame leg and you've got a locking bar underneath which secures those two boards in place. So, twisting the locking bar allows the two boards to fold to meet in the middle and the table to dramatically reduce in size. Now, where did the name coaching table come from? Well, we'll probably never know. There is a theory that they were made for use on board uh, coaches, that um, every now and again the coaches would stop, the passengers would get out, they'd set up a coaching table and they'd have their refreshments. Well, that's likely to be utter baloney because there are so many coaching inns on the routes that um, the passengers would stop, go into the coaching inn and have their refreshments while the horses were changed um, and the driver was watered as well. Were they made for um, travel or for domestic use? Well, I would say the vast majority were likely to have been made for domestic use. Sure, some officers probably took some with them. They were very practical and, as you saw, fold up to a relatively small size. But that practicality was very useful in a home environment. If you needed an extra table, if you were having a party, or just to go by the side of a chair, or you were going into the garden, a coaching table would be absolutely perfect. And of course that practicality still holds true today. It's always very useful to have an extra table in the house that you can pull out of a cupboard and you can unfold and set up for use. And they're still very popular for that reason. Now the coaching table was made throughout the 19th century. The vast majority of them were made in mahogany. These two examples are mahogany. But we have had them in rosewood before and we've also had them in oak. When you're buying a coaching table, there's a couple of things you need to look out for. You want to make sure that the top is nice and stable, that the locking bar holds true. Sometimes with age and movement and shrinkage, there's a little bit of give. So you want to make sure that that's nice and firm. That one's very good. This one's very good as well. But what we can see on this one, if we just bring it closer to the camera, is that at some stage it may have had a little bit of movement. And somebody has put in what we would call a historic repair. So you've got a bar put on either side just to elevate this section and just to make it a much tighter, stronger fit. Now, it is what it is. Um, that's not something I'm too concerned about. It makes the table far more practical for use and it's part of its history, so it's just something which we have to live with. And so there we can fold it and show you how that locking bar works. Now, it's very difficult to date coaching tables um, accurately. Sometimes you might know from the timber, say rosewood and the shape of a leg, but it's going to be earlier. This one's going to be mid 19th century, perhaps a little bit later. This one's going to be later in date. Um, you can see that the leg is not quite as decorative as the lovely movement on this leg. So that gives us a few clues. But of course, the design didn't change an awful lot. Um, so this one's going to be mid to not mid 19th century, perhaps a little bit later. This one's going to be towards the end of the 19th century. But actually this one is a lovely size and the fact that it's round and a little bit smaller does make it very useful and practical. And coaching tables are still as useful today as when they were first conceived. We all need an extra table in the house now and again and a small size table that you can put your uh, cup of tea or your gin and tonic on or your book or to take into the garden it's very very useful so there you go two examples of 
coaching tables, folding tables, probably made for domestic use rather than specifically for an officer, an army officer. Both made in mahogany. This one a little bit earlier than this one. This is going to be mid 19th century, touch later. This is going to be towards the end of the 19th century for coaching tables.